In this video I'm going to show you how to go in and take a course in Angel. You're going to take this content and you're going to move it into Blackboard. So what we actually need to do is uh, create a zip file of the course in Angel and then go in and um, upload that content into a Blackboard course. So I'm going to go in and take my um, Fall Presentations course and I'm going to go into the Manage tab and I want to go into the export console and you want to make sure that you export it as angel format to be able to bring it into um, Blackboard to have it work properly so I'm going to click angel format I'm going to leave everything that the defaults that are clicked hit next and it's going to let me know that it's going into the queue okay so at this point um, if I go back into manage again and go back into export I will see that this is in the queue at this point so I'm gonna to have to wait until this is ready to download so at this point I would navigate back out and come back in again when I you know maybe a few minutes later depending on how much content is in the course now in this export it will not take the student content so that information will not be moved over. Now one of the things that I did before I exported this is I went in and I cleaned out um, any extra tests, any extra assignments that were in there, and I also eliminated any extra um, announcements that were in the course. This way it was clean and ready to go over to Blackboard. Now some of the other things that you could also do before you um, export it is make sure that you take out any tokens, any content that is in um, a lore, it should be copied into the course before it um, is exported and um, any references to Angel can be fixed either before or after the, the content has been moved over. Now at this point I have gotten a message from um, SLN letting me know that the export is done so I'm going to go back into this again and I can see that the zip file is ready for me and it's under the Angel format and make sure you grab the right one. So I'm going to click on this file here and I'm going to save it. Now I'm in Firefox, so when I go to save it, it's just going to save it to my downloads folder. Okay, automatically it's letting me know that it went in there. So if you're using Explorer or Internet Explorer or if you're using um, Chrome, you'll be asked to put it in a specific location. So with Firefox, it just goes down to the download folder. Okay, now what I'm going to do is navigate into the course that I want to take this into in the Blackboard. Okay, now I've gone in and I've gone from my Angel course shell and now I'm into Blackboard and I'm in the course that I want to move this information into. So what I'm going to do is on the menu on the left hand side, I'm going to um, come down to Package and Utilities and I want to import a package. Okay. Now this import course cartridge is if you have something that has been created on the Blackboard website and they've given you a cartridge code, maybe third party content from like Pearson or Sengage, they might have a cartridge code that they already have built in to Blackboard, that's where you would go to do this. But when we're actually importing um, a zip file from Angel, we're going to go to import package and view logs. Alright, I'm going to select import package. Alright, and I had downloaded that zip file to my computer, so I'm going to go in and browse my computer. And it automatically came up in my downloads. If you saved your file somewhere else, then you want to make sure that you go to that location. So here's my uh, zip file here. So I'm going to double click on that to select that. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select what items I want to be brought into. Blackboard. Now in this case I basically want to just include everything. So I'm going to do a select all. Alright, now the one thing I am going to change is it's telling it to include starter posts in each thread and I do not want that. I just want to include only the forms and no starter posts. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this.
All right. Now, as this go through, it's going to take time again. And what you should have, what should happen as you're doing this, is you will get another email to let you know that um, the upload has been sent and has been at the fit package has been finished loading into Blackboard. You'll get another SLN support ticket that will come through on your Outlook email. And I can see here that I went from waiting to running right now, so it's actually trying to import this package for me. And when it gets done, it will give me a little report indicator at the top here that will tell me that it's finished. And it would also let me know if there were any errors of content being brought in. So at that point, I would be able to do this click here to look at the log to find out what did not import properly and I might have to take a look at that and update it. So at this point it's telling me I just got my email, it's telling me it's complete and I'm not getting any, it's not showing any error messages so if I click here, okay, um, here's the file that I created with the detail information so I'm going to click on that and it's letting me know that no errors occurred when it came in so I was very lucky sometimes you will have errors and I would suggest you go in and look at the log to see where the errors have occurred and um, you'll get different pieces of information here maybe a discussion or maybe you used uh, tokens and they didn't come over properly or um, maybe you had something that was linked in your lore so that content did not come over with it things like that so um, I'm, you know, was very lucky. I've got a clean log, and I can see that nothing um, was a problem as it came over. Now, once the information is in there, it's going to bring any content over that was in the learning modules into the content menu item on the left. So, if I go into that, I can actually see my content for this course in this area here. Okay, so um, at this point, you're ready to go in and start doing the cleanup in this course.